Pleasure. Uh, where would you like to start? Probably the prologue. Prologue. Oh, I, I think you mean prologue. We begin with the prologue. Two households both alike in dignity, in fair Verona where we lay our scene, from ancient grudge break to new mutiny, where civil blood makes civil hands unclean. From forth the fatal loins of these two foes, a pair of star-crossed lovers take their life, <laughs> whose misadventure piteous o'erthrows do, with their death, bury their parents' strife. Thank you very much. Forsooth, fair Juliet, Wouldst thou likest yon hot chocolate? Oh, Jimmy, wherever did you learn to speak like that? Oh, it's fancy talk from Romeo and Juliet. I need words to tell you about my pounding heart. Four dollar words that make a guy sound smart. Well, I guess that's why they invented Shakespeare. His articulations of a lover's palpitations are so keen. as boundless as the sea. Oh. My love as deep the more I give to thee. Oh, you sound so dreamy when you talk like Shakespeare. A, A big vocabulary, vocabulary should be customary when you fall in love. La 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 la, you're a snowy dove. La la la, prodigious birth of love. La 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 la, hip hooray for Shakespeare. Sure as I am breathing, you can Romeo and Juliet were happy, young, and bubbling with love. I can't wait to read the ending. I can't either. But I'm sure it turns out real swell. I bet Romeo marries his Juliet. They have a baby. And make lots of friends. That's probably the way the play is. to burn real bright. Hanging like a jewel upon the cheek of night. Hark what light through yonder window breaks here. Will these future spouses put a plague on both our houses in 